Hey everyone, my name's Amy and today I've got an awesome Chinese inspired cold noodle dish for you guys. This is the perfect recipe for summer. Now let's get started. I originally learned about this recipe from one of my friends at a Chinese church that I used to go to and typically she tops it with chicken. However, today we're gonna to be doing marinated air fried tofu instead. So to start that, we're going to begin by pressing our tofu for about 30 minutes under whatever we can get that is heavy. Today I'm gonna to be using some pots, but I've used textbooks before and other things. Make sure to wrap your tofu in a towel so that it can absorb all the liquid that is pressed out of it. After you're done pressing the tofu, we're gonna slice it and put it into a container so it can sit around for at least one hour. Now let's work on the marinade for this. Our marinade is gonna start off with two tablespoons of vegan Worcestershire sauce. One tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm using my favorite ponzu vinegar, and if you don't have that, you do not have to use it. Lemon juice is just perfect. We're gonna add in one quarter teaspoon of liquid smoke. This is gonna make the tofu have a nice smoky flavor to it, so it seems like you grilled it. Now we're gonna add in one tablespoon of dark soy sauce. This is gonna add a much richer flavor as compared to a lighter soy sauce that you typically find in a store. If you don't have this, tamari works as a good replacement. Now we're gonna add in one teaspoon of garlic powder. And now for one teaspoon of onion powder. Now we're gonna thin that marinade out with a half a cup of water. And that is our entire sauce. We're gonna pour that over our tofu and let that sit for at least an hour in the refrigerator. Now we're going to air fry our tofu. We're gonna start off by preheating our air fryer. This is a really important point, and when I was actually making the recipe, I didn't do this, and so it comes out a little bit burned if you see it later. And then, when the air fryer tells you to, put your tofu in and let it cook for 10 minutes minutes. While that is going, we're going to work on everything else. Chop the ends off of the asparagus that you're going to steam. Those ends are hard and you don't really want to be eating them. Now we're gonna take our asparagus and put it into a pot with just a little tiny bit of water in there and we're going to let that water boil and steam our asparagus. We're gonna let that go for about two minutes. While the asparagus is cooking, we're gonna put our soba noodles onto the boil. Mm -hmm. 
After the asparagus has cooked for two minutes, we're going to add in some spring peas to steam with it until the asparagus are done in about seven minutes. Make sure to continue to check on your soba noodles because they can cook fairly quickly. And when they are done, we're going to take them and strain them. When you're cooking soba noodles or udon noodles, make sure to rinse them off. The starch that is on there can really cause the noodles to stick together as they cool off or if they're stored in a refrigerator. And you don't want a block of noodles, you want individual noodles. And when your tofu is done, take it out of your air fryer. When the asparagus are done, turn off the heat. So this dish is typically topped with a tahini soy sauce mix. I decided instead to mix in some miso into my tahini. It's a very simple recipe that will be linked along with the entire recipe down in the description box. I'm also putting on top the traditional toppings of grated cucumber and green onions. And that's it. This recipe is delicious and the perfect thing for a cold summer meal when it gets too hot to do any sort of really heavy cooking. All right, so I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you always remember to love God, eat greens, get moving, and enjoy this recipe.